Hello, I am Ice Beast, and welcome back to Europa Universalis 4. So, um, we are in this war here. Um, this war against uh, Bohemia is the primary rival, uh, and they've been approximately neutered by us. Um, so that's good. France is apparently sieging down there. Um, Oh, good. The Siege of Salzburg is over. That's beautiful, because then we can come siege uh, this over here. The Siege of Würzburg is over. That's also good. Um, if you come here to inherit this siege... Um, beautiful. They at least keep some of the war score. Nice. Crush that army. Continue to crush armies everywhere. Hopefully we can win this siege here soon. Um, bye bye, one per siege. All right. We'll arrive here on the 9th of August, 3rd of August, 3rd of August. That should get at least one of those armies stopping. The 11th of August, 11th of August will be close, but they do escape like bastards. 19th of August, 19th of August. They're going to possibly escape again. The siege of Para is over. Um... We want to transfer this to Imperial Domain. I actually want to come over here just to watch out for those guys. Alright, cool. Um, Did we crush that army over here? No, they actually goddamn escaped. Alright, select army. Forced march. So we'll come crush this army here. Then we will come crush this army here. We do have a crossing penalty and a terrain penalty. But Lithuania is on its way to back us up. We did win that. Okay, cool. The siege of Nader Byer is over. We are slowly but surely sieging everything. The siege of Kostance is over. Where's Kostance? Where the hell is that? Oh, here. Okay. Um, un, unforced march here. I'm going to actually uh, detach a siege and have you move up to here. I'm going to have you detach a siege and come on down here. As this will greatly reduce the number of troops that the Bohemians can possibly raise. And then we're going to have you. No, you stay there. You come here. Who died? My military dude died. I'm making a buttload of money so I can afford a level 2 guy. Uh, let's get the uh, the guy that gives us discipline. Discipline's good. Okay, then we'll crush this army. Ah, they fucking escaped. 25th. twenty-fifth. It's gonna be close. Siege of Bern is over. That gives us total control over Switzerland. Hopefully we can get them to peace out. Yep, Switzerland has accepted peace. They will give Sweden war preparations. They will cede Wall State and St. Gallen to Italy. I suffered a 10 aggressive expansion penalty. Um, let's cord Wallstadt and St. Gallen. Beautiful. So we actually did gain something out of this war. Um, we are not catching up to this army. Okay, this time we're going to catch up. Nice. Nice. Let's keep crushing random armies as we find them. So the problem, the risk we run right now is an uh, overextension problem. We run a serious risk of overextension. But that is what it is. Italian peasants? Where the hell are the Italian peasants? In Bamberg? Oh, these are in territories that we have um, s uh, 
in areas that we have um, sieged, okay? Forgot about that. Saxony. I was trying to get here, but apparently my, my right clicks do not do anything in this game right now. Okay, there we go. We're on our way. We're not going to get there in time. Okay, now we might get there in time. It's hard to tell. The siege of another province is over. Let's um transfer that away. We could probably start um, carpet sieging Breton Brazil. Bye bye tax income. It was nice while I had you. Similarly, we can now um, select army, stop force march, detach siege, go to Thurgen. Do we have everything sieged here? We do. Okay, good. Good. And this army will go to St. Galen to make them happy. Or to reduce the risk of their unhappiness. Rebel factions. Italian peasants. Reform zealots. From Salzburg. Bastards. Bastards. Alright, I found their army. They, they probably just crushed two of my guys. Alcantara, 29th, 16th. No, 9th. That should stop them. Beautiful. Select army. Forced march. Let's go. Pontal on the 23rd. No, we're going to get there first. Goodbye. Alright, cool. So, detach a siege and come here. You don't need to force march anymore. Then, um, detach a siege and come here. We are doing everything we can to, to win this war for good ol' us. That is what we're trying to do. Oh, you already finished your job? Cool. We are, we are suffering some pretty gnarly attrition. Some pretty gnarly attrition. France, they got uh, 16,000 dudes just running through your territories here. What's going on with that, France? Why are we losing war score, by the way? I don't get it. We have, like, everything sieged. This is the Swedish Burgundy Burgundian Imperialist War, which means that we need to siege um, Friesland here. That's the problem. Come back to this country. Why are you giving me these territories? I want you guys to have them because I want you guys to inherit them. Oh, that was not even colonized. This is a conquistador, so he will be able to come down here. Cool. The siege of Morovia is completed. Where is Morovia? Over here. Let's just get this all taken care of. The sooner we get this all taken care of, the better. The sooner we win, the better. The better we win, the sooner we win, the better we win. The better we win, the better everything goes. The siege of Okafenoki is done. <laughs> also known as Oberfaltz. Many of my viewers probably don't even know where Okafenoki is. And by the way, if you're wondering, Okafenoki is a funny word. Alright, cool. So we found ourselves a random army. Come on down. Siege of Bohemia is complete. Cool. The Siege of Thurgen is complete. 
Yes, we are slowly but surely. Oh, that's occupied by Sweden. Interesting. Siege of Ulm is complete. Ulm has surrendered. We have gained two provinces. <laughs> um, we have one minor problem, which is that we keep gaining provinces from this war. Um, and we don't have the extension to effectively. The siege of Garouge is complete. Yeah, we don't have the troops to effectively manage all of this. Salt. These are ridiculously good provinces. Ansbach has entered a military coalition against us. No surprise there, because we're getting aggressive expansion for um for this war. Sure, you can have military access. All right, cool. So we're going to be okay, but we do have some expansion problems. Come on down here. Let's let's check this out. Okay, so we want to crush this army. I want to transfer all of these to my dude over here. Next thing I want to do is crush this army and then march over here. I can't transfer that because it's a colony. You come on down to here. Sweden has accepted peace from Hess. I didn't gain anything in this peace, so that's good. We're actually getting a lot in this war. Oh, they have one province up here that hasn't been sieged. Because for whatever reason, somebody decided they didn't need to siege that. So we will separate out 4,000 men. Select them and have them finish that siege for us. I did see a sizable army over here. No, I see a point nine army right now. And 12 guys over there. Okay. I do have to be a little bit careful with um, that army. Oh, and there's a thousand dudes. There's three thousand dudes there. We did win that, though, so that's good. So they still got fourteen guys in Gelry. All right, cool. Austria has accepted peace with Croatia. White peace. That's fine. How goes our conquests? Good. What I want to do is crush this stupid army, and then carpet siege the rest of of this territory over here. Cross world wars, difficult to manage. So they managed to unsiege that because you just siege it or unsiege it by literally being there. Come on. Beautiful, we've won the siege. The Hansa has entered a military coalition against us. Fortunately, our military coalition is getting scarily large. Unfortunately, our military coalition is. Austria has entered a military coalition against us. The Hansa are not happy with us. Um, let's improve relations with them. Yeah, we, we're probably going to have a coalition war against us here in a, in a little bit. What is my overextension at? My overextension is currently at 68%. We are coring everything as fast as we possibly can. The Siege of Toman is complete. Fantastic. I want you to rush across this water and crush these guys if we can. Cool. And then we're going to start carpet sieging some things. Breton Brazil is going to fight this army. No, they're not, because they're getting there first. Occupied by these guys. Occupied by those guys. Who's possibly uprising? The reform zealots. That's not so good. Handle them. Harsh treatment. Go away. Thank you. Slowly but surely, we are sieging Breton, Brazil. Um, so yeah, detach a siege here. 
France was here, apparently. I think France got out of their war. Attach a siege there. Yeah, France ended their war. I don't know what they gained. Don't know what they gained out of their war. Siege of Bara is complete. Where the hell was that? Oh, the Battle of Bara was complete, sorry. Yeah, we're getting the carpet siege going now. Once we get all this stuff sieged um, and transferred, hopefully that ends the, um, they have territory over here, unfortunately. Hopefully that ends their threat. I'm really upset that I can't transfer these to, um, in my Imperial Domain. Okay, can you trigger this real quick for us? Transfer. What's going on over here? Gotta keep my eyes on Europe. Okay, crush those guys. The Siege of Pambu is complete. Detach a siege now. Do I want any of these territories? Um, if I want any of them. Um, if I want any of these. It's gonna be the best one, which is Munchen. Which is not their capital. Um, so I'm gonna actually... Wait, why can't I transfer these? There are no war allies you can transfer control to. Okay. No, stay. I've learned something. There are no war allies I can transfer control to. Which is unfortunate because I really don't want to be controlling those territories. Anyway, you have controlled this... Come down here, please. Transfer this. Why can't I transfer control of that one? Okay, maybe it's because I have to, like, reverse it. Okay, so I know what I'm going to do over there. I got it. I know what I'm doing. Because I got it. I got it. Like, they have to be touching somehow. So I'm doing this, like, moving down the line sort of thing. I know what I'm going to do in Bohemia. It's pretty obvious. I give this to Sweden, and I give this to Sweden, and this to Sweden, and this comes to Sweden as well. You go to Sweden, you go to Sweden, you go to Sweden, you go to Sweden, you go to Sweden. Hello, Salzburg, you go to Sweden. The Siege of Bara is over. That was back in Af or Africa. In um, South America. So you come here, please. The rest of you... Actually, everybody come here. Then once that happens, we're going to have this army start marching through Terra Incognita. I want to have enough men here that I'm not worried about dying, so 12,000 is probably enough. You hold that. You come all the way down. Cool. This war is taking longer than expected. Rebel factions are increasing. Colony damaged. Nadius have risen up. What a bunch of bastards. Oh no. Okay. The Siege of Campo Largo is over. That gets transferred to Italian Imperial Domain. Neither of these can be uh, transferred. Come on. Come on. Um, bye bye. Okay, so let's see. Burgundy has accepted peace. So I got Munchen. Damn, we didn't actually gain anything from here, though, which is unfortunate. I was really hoping to get some, um, Breton land. I did get Munchen, though. <laughs> Uh, which I totally needed, because you know what I totally needed? More overextension. So let's get... Uh, we don't even have enough core points to core this. 
My overextension is dangerously high. I have a looming disaster. My overextension is currently at 124%. Poland has entered a military coalition against us. We are trading. We've lost a check of trading tobacco. We could convert Munchen since we can't actually um, core it right now. So sure, why not? We're having. We're gonna have an army here anyway. Hopefully, France will join us in our defense when this coalition war strikes. Otherwise, we're we're gonna be fucked. Looming disaster. We're at two percent. The sooner we get these cores done, the better. Saint Galan and Waldstate will be done here in a minute. Um, I do need to look at our potential uprisings. The Badenese nationalists will uprise in 0.2 years. Um, recall our diplomat, the Hansa. Wow. My aggressive expansion really has um, not made them happy. Poland, not too happy with us either. My unexpected aggressive expansion, I should say. Well, you guys all come here. We're going to um, reforge the army and expand upwards. I'll go take care of these guys. Jesus. I need to build another trade fleet. Let's do it. Oh, we can end the episode. So let's end the episode. Are we paused? We're paused. All right. So I thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. On the next episode, we're going to have to deal with all this shit. But until then, I will see you all next time. <laughs>